So I am Thomas Woodham Smith. I'm the chairman of the Masterpiece Fair. And I suppose ultimately this and my fellow founders was our idea. Well, I think of London as being <clears throat> really for the last two or three hundred years the centre of decorative arts. It has the British Museum was founded in the 18th century and what people forget is that the British Museum was actually founded on trading, on actually people buying things and selling them to the British Museum. So we've had a fantastic antique trade for hundreds of years, but you know the recession has bitten hard, um, auctions are reducing in quantity and scale, many many dealers have retired or gone off the high street and we feel a sense of the, um, the blitz spirit you know, London can take it. We can fight back and we can make a fantastic forum, a fantastic platform for dealers to really express themselves and try and do business. Well, Masterpiece is going to be an annual fair. Our 2011 dates are already established. In fact, we're even discussing working with the Olympic Committee in 2012 to do a pre-Olympics event. But you know, a masterpiece is a single item. Every dealer can find, anyway, any dealer who can be good enough to exhibit here can find one great masterpiece every year. And we, we feel that that is enough. That will establish this market as an extraordinary market for the visitor. In fact, we're actually working on a uh, audio tour based on the highlights, based on the masterpiece on each individual dealer stand. And I think that would be a really exciting thing, because it's not just about selling, it's about presenting yourself and delivering a fantastic show for the public. And I think we can do that. Well, you know, a lot of people have asked us not just about the international fairs, but also about the London fairs. You know, how do we compare with Olympia or whatever and I don't want to sound weird or arrogant but I like to think we don't compare because they are all there to try and present just purely a marketplace we are trying to we've even avoided the word fair we are an event we want to deliver great food great wine great drinking great company somebody said to me the other day the other night that they thought it was like one of my parties here you know, and I thought that was fantastic. That would be the, the perfect type of thing that you felt you were attending a great party. And we have no datelines. We have no controls on whatever you show. If it is the best, the best of the best, the epitome of what can be achieved in that discipline, you have an opportunity to show at this fair. Even, I have to say, we're talking to pharmaceutical companies about if they can produce something which is the, the connection between both art and medicine, that would be fantastic. I'd love to have a pharmaceutical stand here. You know, there is no barrier to what can be shown, as long as it is the absolute top. The market is something that has become an incredibly difficult thing to analyze. What I think is one of the most astonishing things is obviously <clears throat> we look at the De Dre sale or other very important auctions in Paris of Art Deco pieces, Pierre Berger, Yves Saint Laurent, etc. etc. And what you see from there is that actually the Art Deco pieces <clears throat> are incredibly rare, incredibly rare, much rarer than pieces from the 18th century. And I really wouldn't want to predict that the Art Deco is the future. But for, for us, here at Masterpiece, the real secret is balance. <clears throat> the real secret is not allowing the fair to become disproportionate in any one discipline. Because I think the market is eclectic. It's absolutely about very, very special pieces. So whether you're looking to drink cognac, wine, look at cars, look at fabulous 18th century panelling like we have here on the Steinitz stand, it's just the best. You know, um, <clears throat> we were talking about the Medici, the uh, term that I've recently heard about collectors who are called the new Medici. They are astoundingly rich, but they are completely unpredictable in what they can buy. So we have to predict the unpredictable. And I think this fair is unique in being able to deliver that.